on Rhode Island's recovery from the historic floods one year later. And although the damage was extensive and unforgettable, one local landmark has managed to turn the negative into a positive. And now managers and shoppers at the Warwick Mall tell us the floodwaters that shut down the mall for months may, in the long run, become somewhat of a blessing in disguise. Iowa to Sue's reporter Sean Daly joins us now with the details that are new at 5. 365 days ago, the Warwick Mall and much of Rhode Island was underwater, but now the mall is back, and according to its owners, it's better than ever. These pictures are now part of Rhode Island's collective memory bank. The Warwick Mall, for years the state's main mall, possibly ruined by floodwaters. But as it turned out, the mall was only horribly damaged, not ruined. It started off with uh, a lot of water and it turned out to uh, ended up being a very great opportunity for the mall and the community. The Warwick Mall wasn't just repaired and reopened as the same old, same old. The general manager says all the work amounts to a major upgrade, the likes of which likely never would have happened without the flood. Unless you build a mall from the ground up, you'll never get every single store being the latest, greatest, new uh, what everybody has to offer. Macy's is open to showcase Macy's. It's the nicest Macy's in the entire company. They've told us that. The fancier nature of the mall now hasn't been lost on customers we caught up with. When you walk through, it's really bright. It's, it's so clean. It's unbelievable. And I like the chairs in between. We can sit down and rest. <laughs> but it's really great. It's just uh, beautiful. It's uh, so wide and, and just bright and uh, just came out of Macy's. Beautiful. What a difference a year makes. Live in the studio, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.